Maybe a lot of ganks towards Seraph. Remember about making him a threat so that they can allow Doublelift to succeed. And it goes back to what his most played champion is here in the North. I like about this because they want to swap the Kog'Maw Morgue. It's not always just about swapping the AD carry and the support. It's also about swapping your solo laner. And Zion Spartan has been someone who's struggled a little bit when he's not able to 1v1. It's kind of his favorite thing to do. So there's a couple possible benefits of CLG here. Kiwi Kid, though, with the hook. Are they Whoa. going for a kill? Whoa! What an amazing play! Kiwi Kid roams down from the top lane. Well set by Dignitas. Dignitas making a nice roam play. Completely surprising Link. And then being able to close that kill under the turret without suffering casualties. Pretty much juked us on it. Didn't even see oh, it coming. Seraph, he's wanted... There's a lot of people up here. That's turret very hurts though. That turret hurts a real Perfectly played lot. so far, but you can only perfectly play four members so long. Oh. Wait, he leveled, but he gets stunned right at the end there. Gets locked up. He does what he can. Actually loses both summoners, so that hurts pretty good. But CLG went to Lucian, and he wouldn't find the wins. Still goes yeah. back to it though. He can still play in the lane. Now with the coming of Shifter and Zion Spartan to the team. It seems like those things pan out a little bit oh, more. Man. He's going real quick here. Level six, immediately onto Seraph. They know his teleport and flash are down. He can only burn out for so long and then be burned down by Dignitas. Zion Spartan picks up a second kill for himself. He's already going. Dig is act acting on anything as soon as they have it. TF's alt comes up, they take it. Kiwi Kid doesn't need to be in the top lane. They take a chance on Link. They get it. Very nice plays, but still not separating the gold just yet. That this bottom could lane close move, it even more. Kiwi Kid not going to get out of this one alive. They do even up and even take the gold lead, giving a kill now over to Double Lift. It is like for a strong push. He push. He's going to go back, spend some cash. Afro Mu will stop that as much as he can. And a good pink ward placed out here. Like, see it, Dignitas oh, is start man. wanting a little bit more. Do they get themselves Whoa. in trouble? They though? got him! The flash comes in! Aphromu hits a max range binding! Feeding double nip, level up another kill on a silver platter. Woo! Punishing him for that pink ward. Hit six as well. They're gonna try to get into this. Very nicely wow. dodged out. Dexter, Gift, Doxon, dodges himself to safety. Dignitas wants this dragon now, but they might get initiated on. So it's a really weird position to, to take it. It's all about catches. Here comes Seraph. Half removed. Very, very oh, low. Coming all. in. He could be able to hit a binding if he comes off on this. Yeah, the ult of Soul Shackles has already been used. The summoner heal as well. Coming in from Afro Moo, double shockwave, it hits Cutie Pie, a pie to the face on the back line. Seraph gets a shield save. Coming in from Link on the fancy fingers, beautifully played by CLG to retake. Let's see. This will be their, the, how, how good are they though at saving these pink wards. We're gonna have to rate this. It'll be a new game, mini game for CLG, protecting their pinks. Protect the pinks. Crumbs. Over to Shifter, he'll be backing after this one, but with Shifter out of the mid lane, CLG goes hard in the bottom, knowing, and the rotation from Link here, if anything were to go awry, he doesn't even have to come down any further than the brush he just walked through. Yeah, that is a Trinity Force. Have enough gold for a Trinity Force. Yeah, he's only got 600 uh, on him He right wants now. to start fighting back, exactly. It does take a really long time to get up there, especially when he builds a Vamp Scepter and then starts going towards Trinity Force. Sneaky, sneaky spider. Well, up to the turret. At least he wasn't window shopping. Keep himself safe, but that couldn't last. There may not last very long, rather. Oh, they missed a lot of stuff, but he's really low. Oh, beautiful Bye. repel on the Counter Strike. Nicely played. Kill back onto Seraph as well. This just means almost all of Dignitas' momentum has. But oftentimes they do not measure their aggression very well. With a gold deficit of almost 5,000, yeah. there's not many moves they actually can make. But knowing they harass down COG so well, a dragon here is about the best possible move for Dig. It's still risky though. A good grab, binding to binding. Kiwi Kid throws down the box, but they can run around it if they really want to initiate the fight. Aphromoo gets in range with a flash. Soul shack Shackle, hard to say, but gets himself out. Oh, nice. wow! 6 0 0 on double, 0 0 6 on Aphromoo. Schooling crumbs with that binding and black progress, but they're giving up a lot of the gold elsewhere, and it's kind of general gold trades unless they make a big wow. playoff. Wow, they're things. barren. Yeah, yeah. They just clicked it. They they're said kind that's of clear at least. To, they're just starting it. Will that pink see inside? They didn't place it necessarily far enough in the pit. 
They're doing this on a ward. They do not know that. By sheer power, they should win this fight. Double blue already set up. Coordination to re-engage on the Kitan fight. Going very low here. We've got the pip on to Cutie Pie in the bottom lane. He's going to be going for an inhibitor. It's definitely going to oh, be a great wow. here. CLG COG. pulls off. This gives Dignitas the upper hand. As long as Kiwi Kid can st actually, never mind. But no, they'll still be all right. Just kidding. Pushing the bottom lane. Sure. It's going to be the inhibitor going on. Scared yeah. of the bind. Yeah, very scared. You have to be. Afro has been hitting things left and right. Doesn't is not afraid to blow the flash to get that initiation in either. This will kind of be the question. How does COD break the hold here? They're looking for a quick and decisive win. They do not want to let this one overstall, even though they have the safety of Kog'Maw in that sense. But as far as becoming a top team, COD wants to be able to close these games in short order. A lot of nice turret damage. Just simply dancing oh around my everything. God. What a catch. He can't get the command to move on the ball. Watch Kiwi Kid go down from doubling, double lift and Afro move. Coming up very strong again, the inhibitor Zion Spartan coming from the backside, but is it even something they can initiate? Yeah, no. <laughs> this is the COG <laughs> win right here. 28 minutes in, full control, and it looks like they've destroyed Dignitas. Very Last nice. Check. You played a few shots going in. You saw the damage coming from Dexter and Double if there collectively. The shockwave on the shifter, I think it might be the first time he's used his Zanyas all game. That's going to be the next Nexus turret going down onto the fountain is where they push Dignitas for their own solace. And it's going to be a 28 and a half minute game. Dignitas gets taken down by Counter Logic Gaming in week eight. It looks like it. <laughs> gets them down. Slowly but surely. Poor guy. Right there. CLG taking the win over Dignitas. They just had to finish that one. Double lift loses his perfect score.